Our strategy is very much go global very quickly. So there was a traditional model which was developed for a lot of FMCG companies, especially in the startup space, where companies would build a business for a good long time, focused on one market, their home market, and then expand after one decade or two decades. Uh, our strategy is very different. It's actually to expand as quickly as possible because the way communication works now and so on, if something is working in one market, everybody else will hear about it very quickly and uh, basically you lose the opportunity to be the first mover in lots of different markets. So uh, the opportunity to think about how we communicate and develop the business globally is what we're all about. So the big growth uh, for me is uh, how people will expand to benefit from new occasions. So occasions for us is when people will drink, eat or link with any brand or any retailer. So it's moving across and blurring lines between the channels, but you keep the focus on the end consumer. So when is a consumer going to interact with your brand, be it if you're selling mobile phones or beverages, and how do you best exploit these opportunities? Uh, and generally, most of the successful brands build as wide an occasion base as possible. So if people, uh, I used to work at Coca-Cola, so our aim was for people to drink us with meals, with snacks, with lots of different occasions, and we wanted to be present and sold to meet those occasions. And when I look at the retailers, those retailers that are most successful now are those that think about how do I reach more and more consumption occasions, but also shopping occasions. The biggest challenge for the retailers is really to identify what will be the winning areas for them, uh, what will be the areas where they have a competitive advantage, and how the future will look. I've been through the whole uh, cycle of uh, the big box retailers expanding internationally. Everybody was forecasting that they would eat everybody else. And now 10 years, 20 years on, these same retailers have retrenched and gone back to their home markets and tried to get out of international business and they've been replaced by online commerce which in grocery is growing very quickly even home delivery of pizza instead of selling or buying a pizza in the uh, car for store people can now just order a pizza on their mobile app and it gets delivered to their door pre-cooked so these things nobody would have predicted 10 years ago so people are after convenience value for money uh, and then also choice so it's really about how you deliver against those three things.